Welcome to another episode of Asia Unscripted. Exciting retail coming soon. I doubt it. <laughs> Today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. It is another nice day. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock, so it's starting to cool down a little bit. We have a lot of updates today. Um, last time I told you guys about the 10 million peso reward for any but or any Filipino that has come up with the uh, the the vaccine for our little situation. Um, the president has upped that to 50 million pesos which is roughly about one million dollars so if you're a filipino and you're sitting on that vaccine let's have it <laughs> uh, you'll be a one million dollars richer so um the president decided that our enhanced community quarantine is going to continue in Metro Manila, here in Metro Cebu, and Metro Davao, and some other high-risk areas. So what that means is more of the same uh, until May 15th. So everything is still going to be pretty much shut down. Just the same that's been going on since April 20 or excuse me March 28th so another two weeks added on but he divided the country into high-risk areas and low-risk areas so places like here in Cebu it's a high-risk area we have a lot of cases I think 24 more cases today 20 of them are in the jail so not good for the jail but at least uh, the brown guys aren't getting more cases they're getting a few a smattering but the jails really getting hammered here um, so the, the Cebu jail just in case you guys didn't know it was designed for about 550 prisoners or so that's what I read yesterday Currently, there's over 6,000 prisoners in the Cebu City Jail. So over 10 times the amount of people that it was built for. So you, as you can understand, common sense will tell you that it's close quarters in there. So if one person catches this, yeah, most of everyone else will too. Um, I'm not sure what they're doing to isolate the people who have it. There's very little room in there to isolate them, so I'm not sure what their plan is. Um, because of the ex uh, enhanced community quarantine being extended to May 15th, that means there's still not going to be any domestic flights until at least May 15th. Cebu Pacific one of the main airlines here in the Philippines already announced they won't start up until at least May 16th. Of course, that's fluid. Um, it depends on what, what the next two and a half weeks brings. There's a lot of people who are stuck in various parts of the Philippines. I'm talking about Filipinos that want to get home. They've been trying to get home since March but it just hasn't happened. Now, in the areas that are low risk, like uh, Negros, uh, Oriental, Bahal, places like that, a lot of things are gonna be able to open back up. Public transportation will be able to open back up on a limited basis. Uh, some stores, uh, some stores in the mall will be able to open up. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So, in some parts of the Philippines, life is slowly going to get back to normal. Speaking of which, Vietnam. Congratulations to all of you in Vietnam. 
their social distancing has been successful. They've lifted that requirement. So restaurants, other stores have opened back up again. I heard today that in Saigon, taxis are going again. So they're getting back to normal a little bit faster than here, but they've only had 268 cases. So not too bad. Um, what else? Thailand and Vietnam are planning on ramping up uh, domestic flights and within their own countries starting May 1st. Vietnam has had a few flights, but not many. They're going to ramp them up a little bit more. And Thailand is going to ramp things up. So that is good. That is good. Malaysia, they extended their lockdown until May 12th. And Singapore has extended their what do they call it? Circuit breaker. They call it a circuit breaker in Singapore to June 1st. Singapore has gotten hammered a lot worse than the Philippines. I think if they're not at 10,000 cases, they're pretty close. The Philippines is just a little over 7,000. But a month ago, Singapore had like 100 cases. So they're really getting hammered. It's mostly among the foreign workers there that are living in close quarters so hopefully they get that under control I, I, I'm, I assume they will Singapore is uh, they got things pretty much under control there uh, normally they'll get this under control too See, Malaysia I already talked about Laos their lockdown is until May 3rd no idea if they're going to extend that or not. They haven't had any new cases in a long time. The same with uh, Vietnam. They haven't had a new case in like 10 days. So that's why they decided to open things back up a little bit more. Which is good. Um, what else? Ah, yours truly has a birthday on Sunday. To be honest... I didn't plan <laughs> I didn't plan this birthday to be like this I you know I, I wanted to travel somewhere have a little bit of fun but it looks like I'll be stuck here in IT Park maybe I'll try to buy something a little bit more special to eat than usual we'll see um, April 26 the same day Lucio Ball died the same day the Chernobyl nuclear plant had its mishap. Not, not many good things happen on the April 26th, but that's okay. As for right now, I'm going to get an early dinner. I have some early work to do tonight. And everything is still closing pretty early, six or seven o'clock. So either I eat now, or I don't eat it all, so. Well, I got food in the house, but I'm kind of saving that just in case that I need to declare a full lockdown at some point. You never know, you never know. So, I'm not sure what I'm gonna eat tonight. Oh, Jollibee is closed. It was open the other day, but that explains why there's a long line at KFC now. So I may wait in line at KFC. They don't take too long. Um, you guys are amazing. The last time I checked, I had 861 subscribers. I appreciate all 861 of you. Even if you don't subscribe and you're just checking this out, just viewing the video, I appreciate you too. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. Then you'll get notifications when I have a new video, which has been every few days. I try not to do something every day because for one, I don't have enough news every day. <laughs> and for two, I don't want you guys to get bored looking at IT Park every single day. So I'll probably get back to you guys again on Monday 
Have a good weekend. Be safe. This is Jason from Asia Unscripted. Have a great weekend.